Hi and welcome to our live crafting session. Good evening, my name is Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping art demonstrator based in the market town of Brackley, which is at Northamptonshire in the UK. Apologies for being a couple of minutes late. I got sidetracked with the kitten, of course. Um, but I'm here now, <laughs> so apologies if you're waiting. So today I'm going to introduce you to a new stamp set. It's part of a collection called Country Floral Lane. And this features um, some stamps and papers, a coordinating punch, ribbon and accessories. Today I'm just going to be using the stamp set for a um, single cards design. Let me introduce the stamp set to you. This is called, as you can see, Country Bouquet. It features um, hearts in different formats. So we've got a couple of small hearts, we've got some larger ones and we've got some little sprigs. We've got a larger heart which comes in two parts. One is for the leaves and foliage, one is for the flowers. And then we have some additional leaves, flowers, and some nice sentiments. I love that we're friends, for you, love you, with love, just wanted to say, and of course, a happy Valentine's Day. There is a sort of hint of Valentine's here. Hi, Brenda lovely to see you thanks for joining us and hi Tracy so this is the stamp set you can find details of this collection in our new catalog this is the one that um, has just started so January 2023 it's the one with the purple cover you can't exactly miss it can you and this collection starts on page 8 there's um, quite a few ideas on there, so I'll be using some of those in due course. There's two sets of papers that go in this collection. One is the Country Gingham, which I used briefly, um, or I showed you briefly yesterday, and have used it previously when I was doing the cat stamps. We also have Country Floral Lane, that's this set of papers and this is a, um, a set of papers that are 12 inches by 12 inches so perfect for scrapbooking or you could get at least six standard A6 size cards out of each of these sheets. So there are 12 sheets all together and I'll just pop through them quickly. So you've got this one with a smaller image of the um, stamp. Hopefully you can see that. You've got this one with an all over floral design. With a green backing. This cute one here with the bicycles. So this doesn't coordinate directly with the um, stamp set. The bicycles don't appear in the stamp set. But you've got this little basket of flowers front and on the back. And then these little um, strips here with the flowers and the hearts. So very, very pretty. We have this all over design with a white backing. And then we have this here with the hearts. And this actually matches the punch that goes with the stamp. So let me just introduce that to you. Um, this is the punch here. So the punch has a main heart or flower, two leaves and then a smaller one. And if you look at the papers, those line up with those images perfectly. So you could just go along and punch all of those out if you wish. This also matches the stamps. And we have these two hearts here and then the two leaves and they coordinate with that punch. So that's that sheet there. 
and then finally we have this lovely one with balmy blue and mint macaron so that's one side of the 12 by 12 papers and then on the reverse we've got some petal pinks we've got little tiny little hearts they look like dots but they are hearts and I appreciate the colours not going to show particularly well in the evening um, light. We've got balmy blue with stripes and a slightly distressed look behind. Tiny little hearts. Stripes of course and the colours here are sweet sorbet and petal pink and then some pretty little hearts. So obviously perfect for weddings, anniversaries, valentines. What I'm going to be doing for our card today is using this image here and stamping in two different um, sets of colours. The other thing that comes as part of this collection are some sequins and you get not the black ones, you get two sheets of sequins. So they're different sizes. And you've got the pale blue, so the balmy blue, petal pink, and then a gold. Um, so if I can bring those up to the camera a little bit. So beautiful sequins. And what's nice about these is they are self-adhesive. So they're probably six millimeters and three millimeters in diameter. That's usually the sizes that they come. There's also um, another set of stamps that coordinate. So this is the stamp set here on the left. And I know you can't see that in detail. Hi, Scott. Welcome. Hi, Joanne. And welcome to you. And then we've got another stamp set called Love For You. And this has some individual flowers, um, a whole series of little sentiments, and then um, so much love for you. And these are, as you can see, this is a standard size card, so they're quite large. And those come as a set of dies that also cut out um, so much love and a backing as well. And then it's got some nice sentiments, anniversary, valentines, congratulations. Nobody gets me like you get me. Um, so that coordinates as well. But just for today, we're going to be using the Country Bouquet stamp. Now, this would be perfect if you needed to do um, lots of cards for, uh, for birthdays or as an invite or wedding. This would be perfect for the Stamparatus. I'm just going to stamp them using um, a standard block. And I'm just going to use Granny Apple Green and Melon Mambo as my colour choice. Let me move that out of the, out of the light. Um, so these are from our Brights collection. Granny Apple Green, Melon Mambo. And what I've done is I've cut a piece of card which is 9cm by 9cm. That is our thin white card, perfect for stamping. This one is nine and a half centimetres square and that's Melon Mambo. And then I've got a base card which I've cut which is actually 9.9 .9, and you can get three of these cards, um, base cards from one A4 sheet so it makes it very um, cost effective. So I'm just going to use um, that one. I have some spares in case. I am going to grab get there a mat just for a little extra support so it really doesn't matter which you stamp first whether you stamp the flowers or the leaves I'm going to go with the flowers first so this is melon mambo do I keep it out of the out of the um shine of the lamp reflection that's the word right glasses off for a minute <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing so I've got my um, stamp 
lightly tapping it onto my ink block and I'm going to put it centrally just a little bit high of center on here like so and this is a distinctive and a two-step stamp so it has some shading already built in so if I lift that up um, you might be able to see that these hearts have got some shading and therefore um, it does some of the work for you rather than it just looking one plain colour while I'm here oh now I'm going to stamp the greenery first and I'm going to use the little with love sentiment but I want to stamp the greenery first because I'm not sure where how that fits on there so let's just give this a go let's move that there so this is granny apple green but you could use obviously any any combination and let's just see if I can work out where this goes so I'm just going to take my time and hopefully I'm just looking at where the leaves are and where the gaps are I'm sure when I've done it a few times there'll be an obvious combination but how cute and pretty is that love that okay so I'm going to use the with love sentiment and there was a, there was plenty of space actually but I was worried about putting it too close and then being in the way of the greenery so there we go simple as that literally three stamps one pink one green and this in pink if you had the stamparatus you could have the two layers of um, the two stamps that I've done in pink at the same time if you wanted to um, and then you could just literally um, carry on punching through so so this is called country bouquet and all I need to do for this is literally just mount this up so let's pop that out of the way for the moment keep these out so I'm just going to pop this um, I'm just going to keep this flat so I haven't done small cards for quite a long while but they're very cost effective to do because as I said you get three out of a single A4 sheet and then you get six of these um, backing layers and obviously I could choose um, some of the papers as well and that's going to be layered up on there and I think I'm going to grab one of the little sets of flowers and pop that on the inside okay so I've got my card opening sideways you can have it opening from the top if you prefer so there's that there we go sweet uh, let's pop flowers on the inside so I'm just trying to think I could just do that little corner but um, I'm going to actually use just this little central flower to switch that small one over and I'm just going to do this in the melon mambo what I might do is run there like that let's take my glasses off <laughs> sorry um, let's try and put three in the centre like so like a little heart in its own right okay 
three. So nice and easy and then I'm going to pop a couple of these little sequins on. So because this is a small card I think I'm going to use the smaller sequins and I could put them on some of the flowers or I could um, put them around. I'm not quite sure which I will do. Let's have a look see. So those are like little iridescent sequins. Let's put one, two, three. Oops. There we go. On those three little flowers. Like that. What do you think? Sweet. I don't know if it's got a a mark from my finger on it which I'll wipe off in a second when it's dry. Okay I'm just going to try a different colourway. Um, let's just see what it looks like with um, a balmy blue just for something completely different and because it, that was such an easy card to stamp. Now I'll take my glasses off and I'm looking for my chamois to clean the flowers off. Like so. so let's just try that with balmy blue, see what it looks like. See what a difference that makes. Now I think this is too inky. Let me just try it and see. It feels too inky. Yes. So because I've refilled this ink pad recently, I've obviously put a little too much ink, or rather more ink than I need, because you can get refills for all our ink pads. So what I'm going to do is just, using my bone folder, move some of that ink off the central part of the pad to the side. Leave the bone folder where I won't get ink everywhere. And then I'm going to try that. Yeah, so you can see, hopefully you can see the difference. This one here, although it is quite a watercolour look, it's absorbed a lot more of the ink. And this one is somewhat lighter. Now this is only scratch paper because it's our grid paper. Let's bring that back in. And let's just do one in balmy blue just to see what it looks like. So there's our flowers. I'll use the same green. Granny apple green for the foliage. So I hope everybody is well and has had a good day. Can't believe where the day has gone. I will be back tomorrow and I'll be introducing the papers and the punch. I can see I just missed a little bit of ink on that one over there. So I'm just taking my time to centralise those. Hopefully. There we go. And I like the fact it's slightly uneven heart, so it makes it really forgiving. And let's just use that with love again. And we'll clean it off though. And then I'll just put some blue sequins on that one. And we're done. Nice and simple. Um, I'm going to do this one in the green with 
love. There we go. Oops, a daisy. Just going to grab a piece of Granny Apple Green card. And, ooh, I, mm, or I could go blue actually. I think I prefer the blue. So I'm just going to trim that down. So this will be nine and a half centimeters. And then the white card base is 9.9. .9. So nine and a half. And then the white layer that I stamped on is nine centimeters square. So just do that quickly. I haven't got my watch on, so I can't tell how we're doing for time. But take that out of the way. Make sure the desk is clear. Just adding some glue. And then this time I'll put the sequins around the heart rather than on it. But makes a cute um, Valentine's card, obviously. Um, but I think it also would make a really nice wedding, anniversary, invitation birthday there we go so layer that together and then I'm going to introduce these balmy blue ones and I'm just going to dot these three around so let's put one up here one in there and one there there we go so do let me know which one you prefer hi Kerry good um, afternoon to you so we've got this one with melon mambo and the sequins actually on the flowers themselves Hopefully you can see that. Tilt it, you can see it, hopefully. Oh, there we are. To see them in the light. And then I've got this one here with the balmy blue. And then I put the sequins on the outside. And they are called, those sequins. Oh, a pastel adhesive backed sequins got it and there's 300 pieces all together they're four millimeters and five so i got that wrong i said three and six so don't take any notice but you get two separate sheets with the two different sizes um, and they're really as you can see they're really sparkly so there we go that's today's um two nice easy cards they're really pretty aren't they kerry and um as i say if you have children or grandchildren that need to send Valentine's cards to everybody in their class, I don't know if they still do that anymore, um, then this would be a good choice. But I just think it's a really pretty stamp um, to send a heartfelt message to anybody. So thank you so much. Let me know which colour you prefer. I think I'm erring for the pink, but then I probably would because I do like pink. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow morning, um, UK time at 10am. And I'll be doing something either with the stamp and the punch or I'll be coordinating with the papers. I haven't designed it yet. <laughs> That's uh, my job for this evening or first thing in the morning. Um, I've still got to do a catalogue run through for those that would like to see the catalogue in more detail. Um, and also to go through all the papers. So, um, yeah, plenty to get through this week. Thank you so much, everybody. Enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending on when you're watching. 
If you have any queries or questions on anything I've used or anything I've created, don't hesitate to pop them in the comment section, whether that's here on Facebook or whether you're watching it later on YouTube. Thank you so much, everybody. Do take care and look after yourselves and I hope you can keep crafting. Bye for now.